So this is the amount of crab you could expect to get out of a one and a half, one and three quarter kilo crab. Quite a lot, probably enough for four because it's bearing in mind we've got all the brown meat as well. So I'm just going to make it up into a, a nice little salad. So first of all, some, um, some crab meat. Let's, let's be extra generous here. As I said earlier, you can see that this is hand-picked because it's very lumpy and that's what I'm very keen on. Um, lumpy crab meat. There's a little bit of shell there. Incidentally, a little tip, I haven't done this, but if, you, if you're worried about the shell in your crab meat, just turn it all out onto a tin tray, like a grilling tray. And just move it around a bit and you can hear the, the shell scraping against the tin, against the metal. It's easy to find. Okay, so we've got the, the white meat there. And then a little bit of brown as well, with the mayonnaise in it. If your brown meat is a little on the runny side, just add some breadcrumbs to stiffen it up a bit. I do think it's a, another good tip is just to put some mayo with it. Just, um, it's just very, very strong brown crab meat. I think if you cut it down a bit with some mayonnaise, it's, it's just lovely. Now, my favorite salad, I always do the same salad. Sorry if you've seen this before. I've used it in one or two others, my little demos. Don't mind the builders, they're nearly finished actually. Um, so when I, when I make a salad, I always tear the leaves up. I, don't, I think they just look better in the salad if they're not cut. So there we go. And now, I, what I, the, own, the herb I love in a salad is basil, but I'm very, very abstemious with the basil. Just about three leaves, three or four leaves. There we go. And now just a little bit of tomato, not a great deal. And then slice those in half. What I always do with tomato, another little tip is just salt the tomatoes before you put them in the salad. They'll taste so much better. Tomato and salt. Why not a bit of pepper too? Finally, and this is through um, living quite a, lot of, quite a lot of months in a year in Australia, I just absolutely love avocados. This one actually is quite nice and ripe. What I find is some members of my family go for the avocado first, which I always think is a bit naughty. Just chop it up a little bit like that. What this does when it's as ripe as this, the avocado actually sort of adds to the dressing. And now for the dressing. And the dressing in this case is just ordinary olive oil, not extra virgin, and four parts oil to one part vinegar and in this case it's a little sweet vinegar made from muscatel not too much here because i'm going to uh, when i say not too much dressing on the salad because i'm also going to put some mayo on the plate as well so there we go in the tomatoes finally stirry 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 and if you look at there you can see that the avocado is beginning to coat the leaves as well as the dressing it's just a lovely salad taste a bit Yum, 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 yum. Onto the plate, much too much for two, but you'll find it mysteriously gets eaten anyway. And finally, the dollop of mayonnaise. So that's how easy it is to pick a crab and make a very simple meal with that. I would say this is really the sort of fundamentals of the sort of food I like. I'm just, I hate keep using the word simple, but just stick to the main ingredients. Let the crab speak for itself. And I'm just loving that salad, I'm afraid I'm loving it, but it's just that mixture of the soft, ripe avocado, the dressing, the tomato, bit of basil, lettuce, just lovely. And your crab will sing with that salad and that dressing.